good day folks welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to look at the indicators but before we delve into indicators there are some definitions that i'd like to um, define before we get into details into definite into indicators guys please don't forget to subscribe on my youtube channel and um, share and like and comment and watch my video videos till the end don't skip the ads please guys be patient don't skip the ads and watch my videos till the end okay let's cut the chase now the definition that i want us to look at it's the equivalent point um, the equivalent point of titration is a point at which the acid or base has completely reacted with an acid or a base so that's the equivalent point when an acid and a base are completely reacted um, how do you see they are completely reacted you see by the end point um, the end point of titration is when the indicators change in the color. So when you're doing titration, in order to see that they reach the equivalence point, it's when you see the end point. How do you see the end point? It's when the indicator changes the color. We know the titration. Go to my previous video. Now choose the indicator by comparing to the relative strength of an acid of a base. Now guys, there are three indicators that we're going to look at. It's a bromothymol blue phenylephthalin it's methyl orange now let's look at the bromothymol blue the bromothymol blue guys it works in this strength if it's a strong acid and a strong base we use a bromothymol blue if it's a strong strong bromothymol blue weak weak bromothymol blue it's very important that now the color of a bromothymol blue in an acid if you add it in an acid let's say you're titrating it's going to be yellow but in a base if you add it in a base um, it's going to be blue, right? And the pH range of that solution is going to be 7.2 to 8.88. It's neutral, right? Now, let's look at the other indicator, the phenylephthalene. They call it, it's a phenol. But when you when you ask this indicator, you need to write it in full. Um, when you have a weak acid and a strong base, when the base is strong and the acid is weak, we use phenylephthalene. And the color is colorless in an acid and pink in a base and that's the ph range of that when the acid is strong and the base is weak we use the methyl orange right the methyl orange is red in acid and yellow in a base and the ph range is that one it's very important guys to keep that um it's always asked um which suitable indicator for these two you look at their strength if it's a strong acid and a weak base methyl orange strong uh, base and weak acid phenylephthalein and so forth now an indicator when we talk about an indicator is a weak acid that is in equilibrium with each conjugate base now let's look at this is an indicator right um, but if this indicator is dissolved in water and uh, as, as I've mentioned that this indicator is a weak acid it's dissolved in water so what's going to happen there there will be a protolysis there will be a proton donated so when the, that indicator donates a proton, the water form hydronium, and then the, 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 the acid form its conjugate. This is at equilibrium, right? So that means the rate of forward is equal to the rate, to the rate of reverse, right? Okay. Guys, if, it's very important, if um, reverse is favored, the solution will be yellow and if the forward reaction is favored the solution will be blue right now let's say let's say we are adding an acid right adding an acid in this solution in this solution we're adding an acid so what's going to happen if we add an acid here it's very important so adding an acid here guys it's like you are adding the concentration of hydronium iron so the concentration of hydronium iron increases so when you are adding an acid that's the disturbance right now according to Le Chatelier's principle um, you are according to Le Chatelier's principle um, the system will decrease will decrease um, the concentration of 
hydronium ion, right? Um, that's very important. So if it increases the cons so this is the disturbance that you are doing. You are adding an acid. That means you are increasing the concentration of this. So the system was going to do is going to oppose that and decrease that, and it decreases that and it will increase and increase that. So reverse is going to be favored. The concentration of reactant will increase and the concentration of product will decrease. Right? Okay. Okay, so this means that the concentration of an indicator, um, the concentration of an indicator, which is the reactant, and the concentration of water will increase, right? Increases, and therefore we can say reverse, reverse reaction is favored right the reverse reaction is favored so if the reverse reaction is favored um, that means the concentration of the reactant will increase right so now we can say the solution the solution become yellow due to increase in the indicator right okay guys let's look at now if in this equilibrium we're disturbing by adding an acid adding a base so if we adding a base let's say a base it's a sodium hydroxide with a strong base and here the acid that we are talking about it's a strong acid at the eight cell. So adding a base, guys, here, it's very important what's going to happen. So when adding a base, the concentration of hydronium ion, the concentration of hydronium ion, it's simply that it will want, you are decreasing, decreases the concentration right um, you are decreasing the concentration and therefore according to Le Chatelier's principle Le Chatelier's principle the system will increase the concentration of hydronium ion right <clears throat> so this is what is happening so adding a base here you are decreasing this so the system what is going to do is going to increase it and increase the base base and then decrease these two so forward is favored here yeah, these two are going to increase and these two will decrease there so yeah as we mentioned that the concentration of product will increase will increase and the concentration of the base which is the conjugate increases as well right and then we can say um, forward we can say forward reaction is favored here forward reaction is favored um, so if forward reaction is favored, um, the solution, the solution will be, will be what? Blue. If it's forward that is favored, it will be blue, will be blue due to increase of what? Of the base, which is that right i hope that makes sense about the indicator guys repeat the video and if you do not understand thank you bye